Welcome everyone, finally, to the first episode of the uh, Budget Road to Glory series. Finally, we can get started. Uh, the carry mode is uh, has been patched and um, I'm using a mod on top of it, so finally we can get into this shit. Just a quick note for everyone why it's called the Budget Road to Glory series, because in this series we will not be using um, any of the super talented players, uh, uh, super high potential players, or uh, using the uh, top tier uh, academy players. With like over 90 potential, we are going to be taking the uh, more modest route. Uh, we are going to be taking the more modest route of using players uh, who although even though they have a pretty good potential I might not in the real life actually reach, uh, reach it very often so uh, I think it's more interesting to you know uh, live the potential futures of uh, some of the players some of those players and then see if they can actually reach it in real life so uh, Let's get into it. Uh, I'm running a mod, like I guess, it on uh, top of the game. So uh, I'm gonna be uh, running through some of the changes in the mod throughout the uh, throughout the save, especially from the start, of course. Uh, there is a, there should be a document in the uh, topic of the video uh, with uh, all the changes that the mode has made and all the rules that we have for this series just so it's in one place and um, you know it's it's clear for everyone um, just uh, to mention some things from the mod that are the most game changing I should mention the mod is from a guy called Paul 2 k 4 is G somewhere in Hensnik. It's in the description. Uh, I have the mod uh, little tweaks uh, to make it a little more closer to uh, the default game. Uh, but overall, the main changes are the players cost more. Uh, then you uh, you get less money at the end of the season from uh, the board, but the price, the prize money from tournaments is staying the same. So there is more incentive to actually do good in the tournaments and in the season. Uh, there is some transfer tweaks. There, of course, are fixed tables, but that's already in the last patch. But it's a little bit tweaked. It's not that crazy as it is in the actual patch right now. Um, you players are a little bit tweaked. You don't get as many as many bad work rate players which i think is fair uh, since we are still going to be using the maximum of three star scouts so you're not going to be getting that many of good players anyway so at least they can have no chill work rates half of the time it's not it's not like guaranteed for sure uh, and every yeah, a youth player is going to have a trade which is I was a little bit reluctant about it, but it's actually, when I was testing it, it makes the Youth Academy pretty interesting. Um, also, there is a. That's, that's gonna be really interesting for the uh, youth players. Um, There's full editor uh, available for us. As long as it works, I hope it works. <laughs> so we can uh, edit our players. Uh, and along with the traits, they hopefully are gonna have each their own personality and you guys are gonna like me incorporating some of them in the team. Of course I want to stay close to the real game, so I wanna use mostly real players, but um, I mean, the youth academy is uh, part of every club and so I'm part of football, so we should uh, make use of it a little bit. So here I'm gonna get the 60% the, uh, increase in transfer budget because it's really gonna show when we will want to buy 
some players uh, at the start especially because <clears throat> we can't get that many players anymore um, so the 60% is gonna help us a lot the scout I think I'm gonna be also getting the scouting is uh, faster in this uh, in this mode as well but uh, still it's one scout out of six so it's not like it's that big of a help and now to the coaches so I'm I have decided to uh, name our coach somewhere else and that guy is Persilian Shelbert I think it's pronounced um, of course he's still playing uh, maybe some of you know uh, but let's ignore the fact for a bit <laughs> he was probably the most important player in my first Karimu that I played in FIFA uh, that I can remember should show a picture right now uh, so you can somewhat see like what his stats were like uh, I don't have any pictures from that time sadly but uh, I thought he would be a good coach for our starting Karimu series now let's give him some clothes because he for sure needs it I don't think he is the suit type oh there is there is a pink suit <laughs> Maybe on, on some friendly matches this, this would be fun. But I really like this suit up with the badge. Uh, I'll just give him a t-shirt. Okay, black casual. Oh, white socks. <laughs> For sure. And I think I like these boots, sort of. Uh, yeah, these ones or these ones? No, these ones are classy. For our first matches, we have to be all the rest. So, I think this is enough. Yeah, so we can get, we can move on. I renamed all the stadiums in uh, the English leagues, plus uh, some of the main clubs in the European leagues uh, for a little immersion. Uh, I don't know if it. I don't think there is a point in looking through the teams. Uh, we are going, of course, for Bradford City. Critical domestic success. So that's gonna be difficult. But hopefully, uh, we can fulfill those expectations. Uh, we can move on. So, of course we want present tournament because we need the money and I quite like going on a trip to Denmark before the season starts. Biggest prize money and lowest difficulty, that's interesting. But, I'll take it, I guess. Okay, uh, for start, let's, let's take a look at our Oh, okay. Let me check out actually the emails first. Oh, we'll be playing against Selgeborg, Strems got sent, and Bristol Lovers in our group. Ooh, okay, so that's that's some uh, that's some North what's the word? rivalry. Uh, right from the start. So we definitely have to beat those two teams. Yeah, I'm not actually sure. Which one is from uh, Norway and which one is from Sweden? We should definitely check that. Okay, so let's take a look at our squad now. Uh, I think from the Solar Hub is gonna be better because I think there's quite a lot of loaned players. Uh, actually, it's not that easy to see. But some of our best players are actually loaned. Let's take a look from the uh, lineups first. So we have our goalkeeper is like fine. We have one, two, third. Okay. I definitely want to get a goalkeeper from Youth Academy uh, in a few years. Um, our defense is okay, I guess. I wanna I wanna bring in one or two center breaks. 
we have we have quite good right backs so we have actually three right backs <laughs> i know henley can play on the left he's going to play more in the midfield which we might use Bolt actually i think has pretty good potential so he's definitely in our plans in uh, midfield we have actually these two players who are 66 rated which is pretty good for this league but I think they are both loaned in so and without them we have we are left with this guy is 62 overall this is 65 so I'm for sure planning on bringing two like two midfielders um, and with Bingers it's even worse <laughs> so we are definitely strengthening. I actually thought that we have. I'm gonna put this guy in. Oh, they're both pretty fast. I like that actually. They're not old and both have good work rates. Okay, that, that that's good because I I didn't actually plan to buy that many uh, players. So we we can strengthen every position in the first window, especially because of the money as well. Um, so let's take a look at uh, which press are the ones that are loaned in. Oh yeah, here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 loaned in players. And two of those are our main midfielders. So uh, usually I wouldn't play with loaned in players. I always uh, release them instantly, but I think the release is like it's not small amount for our club as well. So it it would be like hundred fifty thousand for all these players. First and second, we need some. Uh, we might need some strength in our squad. So uh, that's that's another central midfield. So. We might keep one of these two players and maybe the swinger. Uh, Ote probably is gonna go. I'm actually, I actually know this guy from my last career month. That's funny. Uh, uh, in regards to the other guys, I I wanna keep this guy. Uh, I think it's pretty cool like, keeping the super old guys in the squad and kind of let them retire. And you know, who knows, maybe they won't wanna retire until they're like super old and can actually experience some of the winning years with us. So, so far it doesn't look like he wants to retire after this season, so... Uh, I know McCartan is like fan favorite, if I understood it correctly when I was looking up the Redford City like fandom. So, I wanna keep him. <laughs> Uh, even though he might not be super good in game, but uh, we will see. Ah, oh, he's got good, good physicals. A lot of these players actually have better physicals than the players I want to bring in, which is not the case usually. Usually, it's the other way around. Here you can see some of the additions. There is uh, some of the additions of the mod. There is a separate um, column for our kid number changes. Uh, injury list and I think it's all chucked in, into this box. It's pretty, it's pretty nice actually too. I don't think there is the injury list in other uh, in the normal game. That's why you can see the buttons are a little too big, but <laughs> it's pretty nice to have. Uh, same as the kid number changes. This is the old kind of way to change the numbers. Let me uh, shut list some players. Uh, that we that are going to be important for us in the first year or two. So here's our main targets for the foreseeable future. Uh, I don't think it's necessary for me to talk about all of them because there is a lot of players on this list. But uh, I'll just note some players that I uh, want to get in this window. In this window, I should say in this season probably maybe the beginning of the next season so player 
from the defense I for sure wanna get is this guy. I'm just gonna say Van Hau because I don't know how to say the first name. But uh, I know a little bit of this guy because I uh, I saw some videos of his. I know he is like one of the biggest Vietnamese talents. Only, only the second footballer right now that has came to FIFA this season. Uh, he's on loan in Ireland right now. So uh, as you can see, he has high, high work rates, which is interesting for a defender. Um, he also can play a center back, which for some reason is not listed uh, as a secondary position, but I want to play him in center back. Possible second option in defense is uh, one of these three guys. Now, uh, Gertruida probably is probably the best, but he's only five foot eleven. So, uh, and I usually get really like tall, strong center defenders. So I'm not sure. But uh, I would try it out, but he's gonna be expensive. So it's one option. Maybe we can get them later. Another good guy is uh, this guy, Josko Guardiol. Uh, I'm not sure about him. He doesn't have that great uh, technicals, I think. He's, he's fast for a center defender, but he doesn't have great physicals. And then. Uh, Lucas Ribeiro, he is six foot three, so and he has pretty good technical still. So this is my first probably choice. He's also the oldest, so with all of these, we have to think in the future that, especially the ones that are like low overalls, we can't really get them later because we are gonna be climbing the ranks and we can get players that are like sixty, like low sixties, so anymore so that's why I'm I wanna go for those lower players from the start and we can always get the higher 60s in the future like next season you wanna um uh, now in the center midfield which is the most powerful position probably for us is the cornerstone of our midfield for this entire series probably is gonna be Ryan Yates he's absolute beast I play with him in last FIFA, he has 6 foot 3, high high, high high work rates, he has uh, the leadership trait, he has like 90 stamina, he is absolute beast. This is this gonna be our first signing, this episode. Uh, in the future we can get either Jamie Shackleton, is pretty good option, but he's only 6 foot, uh, 5 foot 6, so uh, not sure, even though he's, he's pretty strong, but that height, I don't know. Uh, another option for central midfield would be, for this window, would be Felix Mecha. Mecha? Me Me Mecha, probably. Uh, uh, this would be pretty good, he would be cheap, so uh, there is money is the key here. Now for the wings. I think I would go for Luke Bolton. He's not a high overall player, but in the future I was thinking about this guy on the next season if you wanna improve our uh, our things more. Or he would be a good bench player, that's what I mean. Uh, of course there's like there's much uh, many more players. I will probably buy the right winger last in this window, so you can uh, let me comment if you are uh, more interested in some of these other players. This guy, for example, I think he has pretty low potential, but uh, he was part of the contingent of Scottish players that I ha uh, had planned to uh, maybe buy, but uh, in the few patches before I could start the career mode, uh, he just decided to either nerf some of them or like uh, buff some of them too much so that we can use them in the first season. So, um, so this guy, even though he had great crossing and great potential, he's still fast, but 
the other things were nerfed. So, but with dynamic potential, I'm saying maybe we could get him. Uh, he should be pretty cheap compared to Bolton because he has a much lower potential. So uh, maybe he could work for us. Um, yeah, he's faster than Luke Bolton. Uh, so. And Luke Bolton secondary position is right back and he has pretty good defensive stats so he could even play right back for us. Uh, even though we have pretty good players there but that's one option. I should note that we are playing 4-4-2 uh, for the start of the series. We might transition into like 4-3-3 something like that. Uh, but that depends on which players are going to be successful in our club and which are not going to be successful. And of course I should mention the strikers at the end. Uh, we have a pretty good striker right now and I think he just uh, he just came to the club. Let me uh, check that actually. James Vaughan. Uh, I think he just came to the club so I Oh, I can transfer this to him. Mm, that's interesting. So that that would be an option to sell this guy. And I mean, his price is not that high. So, hmm, not sure. But you could sell him and get a top tier uh, striker. But I don't think it's time for that yet. Um, for sure, who? Uh, we're gonna get uh, in the attack is uh, Charles Abbey. Uh, I'm gonna play him even though he's uh, listed as left winger. I'm gonna play him in the striker position, like second striker position. Um, he should be he's pretty strong, you can kind of see his stats, not really, but he's pretty strong, he's six foot two. Uh, not the fastest, but fast enough. For sure, fast enough. And uh, I think he could work really well. We just have to. We have a long career moving for us. We just have to try players out and see who is gonna work and who can cut it. So this is our second signing. Um, and another strike I wanna get on the bench is. Joshua Xerxes uh, playing for uh, the second team of Bayern. He's six foot four, and one another position that I uh, forgot to mention is at the left midfield. Of course, uh, Tati Chong is uh, our option for the future. Um, there is also Arvin Appiah that I just uh, find out about. Uh, He's also high high water rate, he's also decent potential. So we might even get him if it would be cheaper, we could get him this season. Uh, instead of uh, Keenan Bennett, who was my initial target, he's not the fastest, but he's just really interesting because he is really good in free kicks and penalties. And maybe we could uh, we could use Arvin Appia on the right flank because uh, on, on the right wing because we don't have many uh, right wing players really in the game. Uh, at least the kind of players that I like, which are uh, players focused on crossing and uh, like the dirty work, not. Uh, the kind of ragged fingers that are uh, often now in the game, which is they have better uh, finishing than, uh, than crossing. And uh, a lot of times are uh, left footed on the right side and or like uh, right footed on the left side. So I really don't like this kind of players. They're basically fingers uh, on like wing forwards, but for some reason they're. This is as right midfielders, and there is not many. Like normal uh, wingers anymore, so it's it was very hard to look for wingers. Anyway, let's bring our first signing. 
going blind, I'm just gonna hope that we are gonna hit the right amounts. Our coach looks really old. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, he looks worried actually. I think he we could have him in like 1.3. Please. It's so close. Oh, okay. 7% so close. I'm gonna actually accept it because I'm not planning to sell him. Okay. So that went pretty easy. Uh, now the harder part. Because I have no clue how much to pay this guy. Yeah, let's sign him up for five years, actually. Which, by the way, in the pair of Vivas, they would never offer. Okay, he's actually—I think he's taking pay cut here, but I don't like—I don't like this bonuses. So, I'm just gonna offer him seven thousand and seven thousand bonus. Please accept. Oh, he won't say it. I mean, I think it's fine. Ah, our budget. Oh my gosh. Okay. Welcome to the team. I mean, he's the most important signing, so I'm fine with it. Now let's go for our next important signing, which is Charles Abbey. So I think I'm gonna go for like 1.2 million. What point five? Oh my god. Ah okay, that's for the Fuck, okay, I'm gonna do like five percent sound close and three million, please. Okay, good. I don't... I don't mind the solo process that much because it's only 5%, so... I mean, our boy is gonna take... Uh, like... Uh, seven, 25% anyway. So like, 5 more percent... Whatever. I don't plan on selling, uh, selling this guy anytime soon, so... I think it's gonna be fine. If he need to save some money in the first place, so okay. So looks like he's fine with not man, not much money. So I'm gonna give him, I think, four thousand and like four forty thousand seven. I think that should be fine. Yep. Welcome to the club. <laughs> it's gonna be important for us. Uh, and now our third signing. Mm, where is he? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the wings for uh, another time because I'm really not sure. Uh, which ones to sign. Right now I'm leaning more towards Arvin Apia and uh, the other guy, Cal Morrison, but let's decide about it later. Hmm. John Van How I have no idea how much do you cost. Okay, so Again, I have no idea how much should I offer. Uh, 700,000? Please don't walk away. One million, okay. Hmm. Now that's the problem because one million is pretty much all we have now. And. Hmm. There's. There, there are other players that. We wanna get, I wanna get. So, hmm. I'll, I'll try to 
uh, get the price down a bit. Eight fifty, maybe. Please. Nine percent salon close. Damn it! It's a lot of money that we potentially are losing, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, this is definitely budget series. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's do it. I have to forget about this. I'm wasting so much money. Uh. <laughs> okay, at least the wages are fine. Uh, okay, I can give him 30k and three and a half, maybe. I'm gonna try to go as slow as I can. Okay, okay, it's fine. So now I can at least show you how the training works. So in this mod, uh, I tweaked some of the some of the trainings, so we can train mentals, so mental abilities. So uh, we can do stuff like here. You can see balance. There is no stamina in easy drill for dribbling anymore. I moved it to the medium one. There is also acceleration in this one. Um, then now here in defending, you can see composure training, reaction training, jumping, uh, and other reactions. Uh, there's balance, so you can basically train a lot of uh, a lot of different things on a lot of different players. Um, you don't have to, uh, you know, run dribbling drill on uh, central backs to get uh, their composure up. So, uh, also I added them uh, to, to these easy draws. So there is sort of a, you know, trade of you either want to go hard on the few abilities that are the most important, or you want to go easy and rather train your some of your stamina a little bit, little composure. There's again composure and here in easy crossing I think yes is curve so let's try to balance it a little bit there's some aggression for the followers um uh, acceleration in the speed shooting because it so what speed shooting should be about uh I think there was like long shots or something um so I'm I'm pretty happy with this. So let's uh, set up our first training uh, session. So this is the training session set up. Um, I'm doing balance on these two players. Of course, a rule uh, in effect is that we can only train uh, one player in a maximum of two positions, uh, two training slots. So, no, like super abusing training, and that that's only rarely if you, we have a player that is uh, pretty low overall. We have to like, even him out with the rest of his class. So, uh, I'm just running this spread of these players, and okay, Chris. I think it's my name is Chris, but totally failed, so <laughs> it's not starting. <laughs> Okay, I think this is uh, all for this episode. I'm gonna uh, put all new players in the squad and uh, since I was rambling for way too long already. Uh, thank you very much for watching if you uh, stuck with me until the end. Next episode we are gonna be actually playing with this squad, playing a few games of the uh, pre-season uh, tournament and maybe signing some uh, few more of uh, the new players so uh, once again thank you very much for watching don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the bell button 
so you don't miss the next episode, which is probably gonna be coming out very soon, because I wanna play with Discord already, so... Uh, so, have a nice day, and see you next time.